168film.com was having a film competition and the rules were they were going to draw Bible verses out of a hat and assign them randomly to you. There was about 180 teams from all over the world that was going to enter this competition. And when they would draw it out, you had seven days to write a story, cast it, find locations, etc. Then you had 168 hours, which was seven days, to shoot it, edit, color correct it, add music, audio, and upload it. Okay, so we decided to enter. And we didn't know what we were going to do because you're not allowed to write a story until they assign you a Bible verse. So they assigned us a Bible verse, and it was Romans 12:1. So I, I called my buddy that was going to help me write the story, and I said, okay, you go work on ideas. I'll work on ideas two hours. Let's get back together. So I went into my room to kind of do some soul-searching about what to do, and I felt God speak to me so strongly, and he said, Rebecca's story. And I thought, wow. I mean, I began to cry because I knew he was speaking to me. I called my friend, and I said, don't bother coming up with ideas. we got to do Rebecca's story. So I called Rebecca's parents, David and Linda Tauber, um, the next day and, and told them I'd like to do her story for this competition. I said, do you mind if I come over tomorrow and go through her things? What I wanted to find was her Bible. I wanted to see if there was a way I could take her Bible and highlight Romans 12.1 without really messing up her Bible as she left it. Well, when I got over there and found her Bible, I opened up the Bible to Romans 12.1 and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Not only had she underlined Romans 12.1, she had done a word study on every single word in Romans 12.1 and it was written all the way around the edges of the Bible. When you opened it up to both pages, <laughs> it went all the way around. I thought, wow, I think it's a sign. I think, I think we're to do Rebecca's story. So we did, had a great time doing it. We, uh, we received two nominations, one for the actress, the girl was Elizabeth Jackson who played the, um, who played Rebecca, she was nominated, and, and Rona Lamont was nominated for uh, hair, makeup, wardrobe. It was a great uh, award ceremony out in California. Now some interesting things, Rebecca's mother in real life, Linda, is in the scene where Rebecca comes to the counter to give the nurses some goodies and stuff at MD Anderson. Well, the blonde woman with the stethoscope around her neck is Rebecca's real mother. And when we shot the scene at Second Baptist Church where Rebecca was giving her testimony, there's a man in the background sitting on the stage and that is Rebecca's real father, David. And in some of the scenes, some of our extras were the real friends of Rebecca that were portrayed in the film. So Rebecca was quite a young lady and her friends still talk about her. Her friends still say she's influencing their life and um, she made a tremendous impression on people and the time she had left on earth.